Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we will celebrate the Feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle. We shall begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Lord, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that, through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed. The names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve curses of stones at its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him to all who call upon him. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. 
Please stand. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. To see is to believe. To see is to believe. Ito yung mga katagang palagi nating naririnig. And this is something very significant pagdating sa ating pananampalataya. To see is to believe. Because I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, many, many of our brothers and sisters who believe base their faith on that principle. To see is to believe. Kaya maririnig mo, madalas, sasabihin niya sa'yo, alam mo, talagang nananampalataya ako dyan sa Our Lady of Manawag. Bakit ay kitang-kita ko yung milagro niya? Damang-dama ko yung milagro niya. Kaya nga, nagkaroon ako ng debosyon sa mahal na ina ng manawag. Ganda, no? But at some point, merong lumapit sa akin na ganun. Father, sampalataya talaga ako sa manawag kasi lahat ng dinadasal ko sa kanya, binibigay niya. Pero alam mo, Father, dati doon ako sa Our Lady of Perpetual Health nagdarasal, hindi niya binibigay yung pinagdarasal ko, kaya lumipat ako. <laughs> Para baga magkaibang... Birheng Maria pa yung Our Lady of Perpetual Help tsaka Manawag. E ano nangyari? To see is to believe. Hindi niya nakita doon sa Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Kaya lumipat sa ibang image ni Mama Mary. Kaya at one point, it's a good na nakakapagpapalalim sa ating panalampalataya yung principle na ganun, to see is to believe. But then, Kung doon lang nakabase ang ating pananampalataya, mahirap din. Kasi paano nga naman kung hindi natin nakita yung gusto nating makita patungkol sa ating pananampalataya? Baka bitawan na lang din natin. Baka itigil na lang din natin yung bukasyon natin o yung tawag ng Diyos sa atin patungo sa Kanya. Eh, hindi natin nakita eh. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the feast of St. Bartholomew, an apostle. And we heard in our gospel today, the vocation of Bartholomew. Wala man tayong narinig na Bartholomew na pangalan sa gospel na ito, 
But then, as we study the scriptures, it is known that the character in our gospel today named Nathaniel is the same person, Bartholomew, the apostle. Kaya yung Nathaniel na nabanggit na, na sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, siya si Bartholomew. At ang gospel na ito, patungkol sa pagtawag kay Bartholomew. Ito yung simula nung pagpapalalim niya sa kanyang pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. But then we ask, ano ba yung nag sa pagpapalalim ng kanyang pananampalataya? Seemingly, it is that principle, to see is to believe. To see is to believe. Kaya nga nung sinabihan siya ng kanyang mga kapatid, Nathaniel, Bartholomew, nakita na namin yung mga sinasabi ng profeta, Jesus of Nazareth. Then he immediately posed the question, is there something good from that could come from Nazareth? Eh kasi nga, to see is to believe. Tapos nakita niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Saying something. Napakamahiwaga. Sabi niya, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. And after those words, nagbago na agad yung tono ng pananalita ni Bartholomew. Nung una, nagdududa. Tapos biglang nung nakita niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, nakarinig siya ng salita. Sabi niya, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. Declaring immediately that Jesus is the Son of God, anak ng Diyos. Ano nangyari? Nakita lang niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, meron ng pagbabago. Nakarinig lang siya ng salita. Nagkaroon na ng pagbabago. Was that to see is to believe? In a way, yes. But then, in a way, no. No, because it is not Nathaniel who saw Jesus that made Nathaniel dig deeper on his vocation to the Lord. Ibig sabihin, hindi yung pagkakita ni Nathaniel kay Jesus ang nagpalalim ng kanyang bukasyon kay Jesus. Ano ang nagpalalim? It's the other way around. It is when Nathaniel recognized that Jesus was seeing him that made him believe. Naalala niyo yung phrase, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Ibig sabihin si Bartholomew nandun sa ilalim ng fig tree. Anong ginagawa niya dun? What was he doing there? Now, there was this tradition in, in, in the Jewish you know, religion sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo that whenever they, they study or they meditate on God or whenever they pray to God, they would go under the fig tree. So when Nathaniel was under the fig tree, he was praying to the Lord. He was praying because he had a very deep struggle pagdating sa kanyang pananampalataya. Yes, he was very good with scriptures. But then it seemed to him that that is not enough. May kulang. Kaya hinahanap niya yung Diyos. Feeling niya at one point, hindi yata ako nakikita ng Diyos. O parang yung kantang natutulog ba ang Diyos? Inutulugan yata ako ng Diyos. Nakalimutan na niya yata ako. Hirap na hirap na ako sa aking pananampalataya. Parang at the point of yung ano na, nasa cliff na or nasa wall na, hindi na siya makausad. That is why he was under the fig tree. 
He was praying. Sa lahat ng mga experience niya, sa mga struggles niya, hinahanap niya ang Diyos. And that is why, when the Lord Jesus told him, I saw you, I saw you under the fig tree. It was a very big revelation to him, telling him amidst his struggles, amidst his doubts, amidst the challenges that he has with his faith, that the Lord, our God, has not forgotten him. Nakikita siya ng Diyos. Ibig sabihin, alam na alam ng Diyos kung ano yung pinagdadaanan niya. Naiintindihan ng Diyos yung kanyang doubt sa kanyang pananampalataya. Naiintindihan ng Diyos yung paghina ng kanyang pananalig sa Diyos. Because God sees him. Nakikita siya ng Diyos. With the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, I saw you under the fig tree. And after that, Nathaniel was converted and had a boost to his faith with God. Kaya pinalalim niya lalo yung kanyang pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Diyos by following our Lord Jesus Christ. But later on, becoming an apostle. So what is this story about to us? What is its significance to us? I think most of us are like Bartholomew. With the struggles that we have today, with the pandemic and everything, guerra sa ibang lugar, corruption na naririnig natin, para tayong nandun sa ilalim ng fig tree, asking, where are you, Lord? Nasaan po kayo? That's the words of our Lord Jesus Christ to Nathaniel, to Bartholomew, are also the words for us. Jesus is telling all of us now, I saw you under the fig tree. I see you. I understand what you are going through. And I am with you amidst all these struggles. That hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, would also push us to deepen our faith with Him. Nang sa gayon, hindi tayo mananatili dun sa prinsipyo na to see is to believe. Na kung kapag ka nakita nating meron tayong grasyang natatanggap, merong Diyos. Kapag wala na, wala na tayong nakikita, wala na tayong nararamdaman, wala na yatang Diyos. Rather, it is always the other way around. We should recognize that God always sees us. Kailangan siyempre ng matinding pananalig at pananampalataya sa Kanya. Paano natin palalalimin yon? Paano natin palalawigin ang ating pananalig sa Kanya? By doing the same to our brothers and sisters. By seeing them. By telling our brothers and sisters, I saw you under the fig tree. Ibig sabihin, dapat palalimin din natin yung nakikita natin sa ating kapwa-tao. Palalimin natin o palawakin natin ang ating pag-intindi sa pinagdadaanan ng ating mga kapatid. Because I tell you, I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that is something very rare 
to our society today. Kaya nga, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi ito, meron tayong tinatawag na cancel culture. Cancel culture. Lalong-lalo na sa online. Makarinig ka lang na hindi magandang sinabi yung nakita mo. Cancel. Minsan, gagawa ka pa ng comment. Ganda-ganda ng comment mo to cancel the person. Minsan, di ka nga magta-type ng madami. It's just a matter of, mm. Mm. That's it. But every time we do that, the question posted to us, especially to us Christians, is exactly that. Do we truly see our brothers and sisters? Do we truly make them feel that we are with them in their journey, in their struggles in life? Because I tell you, Jesus sees our brothers and sisters. Jesus is telling them, I saw you under the fig tree. And with that, we ask ourselves, who are we to not see our brothers and sisters too who are praying, struggling with their faith under the fig tree? Please we all stand. stand. As we honor the Apostle who was a man incapable of deceit, let us come confidently to the Father, opening our hearts in prayer. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be open to the workings of the Spirit, especially in the movements which enrich the faith of God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that government officials may deserve their honor and dignity by their honest and exemplary performance in office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be programs for the formation of young people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find help in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may share in the heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Father, as these prayers come before you, with the help of St. Bartholomew, teach us to care for others and to trust in your providence. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. 
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who we art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et Sanctus Christi custodiat me in vitam eternam. May the body of the Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Please all stand. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online PAMISA, where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please all stand. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaunin niyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name we ask this through christ our lord amen in memory of the mysteries of the life death and resurrection of our lord jesus christ and to the honor and glory of the blessed virgin mary mother of christ and mother of the church our lady of the rosary of manawag may these rosaries images candles oils and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen.